Okay guys, so I'm um, just going to find ourselves in line of and I'm going to do this video first because a lot of when it comes to iNav um, when you look down all of the settings and all, all the options that you have it can be a little bit daunting but so, so I just want to show you that there are ways around making some of these tasks like firmware updates a lot simpler so very quickly we're just going to go straight down into this into what they call the command line interface the CLI so if I ever say CLI or command line interface this is what I mean so what you've got here is well, I'm it a bit of a blank screen and what we're going to do down here where it says write your command here is we're going to type in diff space or and what we have come up over here on the screen through this is every option every setting that has been changed or made by the user the person using the configurator is here which means all you've got to do when you have all this information this is all the mix set information the serial ports all the modes because there's a lot to do the on-screen display layout which can take a while especially if you have multiple on-screen displays there's a lot of stuff to go through with uh, iNav um, all of the master setups loose pids accelerometer yeah, magnetometer all these settings uh, are all here now there's big chunks of these settings and if you've got LEDs as well there's another one uh, once you get it set up you know it's good to you don't have to do it every single time and that's what can be a little bit of, a bit scary on some of this is when you think to yourself, oh my life I'm gonna have to do this every time there's an update no you're not and this, this is just what I want to show you quick in this because I don't want it to be anything that puts somebody off when I start running through iNav as the uh, as the configurator itself I want people to think there's just too much you, 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 what, what happens if the firmware gets messed up whatever I'm so we mess up the settings uh, there's too much and this is why I want to show you that there doesn't have to be now like I said before that when you do do an update especially the firmware update it's good that you reconfigure your configurator meaning don't just copy this and paste it back in there save it and then think that's it you've reset up in your new firmware and everything's going to be good because that is probably not going to be the case because there are going to be a lot of adjustments in that for in that software that are subtle in the background but for a lot of these things and like the stable diet of these things like your on-screen display setup that should pretty much be okay your led layout should pretty much be okay your accelerometer um, um, oh, what do you call it the values uh, the values for your magnetometer should be okay but with your magnetometer i'd always say you know go into the fields wherever it is going to be and do a do one in the field to do this do a, a compass calibration in the field now as you can see there look on screen display there's quite a lot there and that's just for one one basic on screen display you can have up to it's four you get three and a default one um so that's the sort of thing you can copy and paste back in from your notepad file or whatever editor you decide to when you do a copy and paste of what's in here literally just by you know how to copy and paste in the computer uh you know and do a right click copy and then paste it into and save it and then you just name it whatever you want to name it so you can bring it up you do your firmware updates and then you can come down and you can think ah oh, right okay all of these i'd leave all like the pictures um uh, any of the um these types of settings but like i say the ones that you can do and you can just grab your um, um magnetometer so rather than you have to do the calibration on the bench and waste your time doing that or especially with the accelerometer because once it's in the actual craft it's, it can be more difficult to be able to do that I mean if you try uh, putting this onto the bench upside down um, you know there's some wobbly wibbly bits in there as you know when it's exactly upside down so just being able to copy and paste this magnetometer settings here the accelerometer settings here and you're literally I'm just going to grab it now I'm just going to grab these ones here I'm going to copy them and that's what you do off your, your notepad and put them down here do a right click and just put paste yeah hit return 
Brum, you see them go in the bottom there and I'm just going to type in save now. Save and that will save those settings and that's fine because they're the settings of that anyway. I just copied and pasted it back in there. So you can see then that doing firmware updates which does seem like it would be um, quite daunting to have to redo these settings every time. You can have a lot of this um, dealt with just by uh, just get off there just by um doing that like i said simple enough and it takes a lot of uh it takes a lot of effort out to setting this up so that was just a quick one on the cli because it, you know when I, i've been looking through this going through this and things like there are quite a lot of settings here and this can be quite scary for, for some people who just want to be able to control these things it's great but if you want to speed up that process diff all and the cli is your friend Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.